Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me Zumad and I am back with another gaming video and this is episode 2 of our Astroneer series. So if you haven't um, if you haven't noticed yet, I since the previous episode where we collected a bunch of resources and did some research, I have significantly expanded the base and I've resolved the power issue at least during the day. So I got those medium solar panels going. I have actual storage now, so I don't have to dump everything in a hole. And I've upgraded the smelter and the printer. And by upgraded, I just replaced them. Also off camera, I spent quite a bit of time trying to get some research. So I've gotten quite a bit done and that's for this episode. And in this episode, I really want to try out the new vehicles because they recently overhauled all the controls and all the rovers, and I haven't tried them out yet. So, the first thing you're going to need is a vehicle bay, and got it. Alright, nice and easy. And now we're going to start printing some vehicles. Alright, so now that we have a vehicle bay research, we are going to get our vehicle bay going. And first, we are going to need a platform. It's going to be done really fast, because now we're not just relying on our space pod to provide us with energy. Boom! Got the platform. Now we just need to get our vehicle bay. And there it goes. So once we get the show on the road, I just realized we all need the rovers. That it, It's kind of important to have the rovers researched uh, when you want to print them. Just, just little details. So, um, rather than buying all three rovers, I'm actually only going to be doing the small rover and the large rover. And that's just because I don't really see a point in doing the medium rover because it's basically just a smaller version of the large rover. It's just, it's just like the large rover, but less useful. So I have heard like the bigger ones go slower and like the smaller ones go faster or something like that. So that'll be really cool to try out though. So we're going to get this platform on the road, and get this going. And now we have a vehicle bay. Alright, got that down, and... Come on. That, ah, that, ah, stop it! Okay, quit being difficult. Plug it there. Okay. Ah, that was a lot more stressful. Okay. So now we are going to get some vehicles going. So first I'm going to try out the small rover, which is going to require two compound. So I'm going to grab some here. And let's get this going. All right. And... What? Wait, why isn't it printing? Wait, what? I have two compound. Why, why won't it print? Oh, are these rocks in the way? Be really annoying. Are these rocks in the way? I bet it's those rocks. Yep, yep, it's those it's those stupid rocks. Okay. Oh, and I was in the way too. Of course. And there we go. We have our small rover going. And we're out of sun. This might take a while. Actually not. So now we have our rover and we need to get a seat. So we need a seat, but luckily for us, during my time lapse in the previous episode, I found a seat in that spacecraft and- Oh! A little update, this tether is still bugged out. I'm actually- I'm not gonna mess with it, I'm just going to see how long it'll go before like it bugs out or something. I, w I just want to see what happens to it, so we're just gonna leave it like that. I wonder if it'll like last the entire series. So... There's our little seat. And by the way, whenever I say series, that basically means um, um, I pretty much end a series if System Era releases a new update that basically bugs out the world to the point where it's unplayable and I have to start a new world. I count that as kind of like the end of a series. Or not a, se um, not a series, a season. We have a seat now, and we're going to pop it on that small rover and take this thing out on a test ride. And boom. You enter, and... What, what was I thinking? What? Oh. Okay, so I'm really wondering, because I've heard like this thing works differently. Is this just like a battery on the back like any normal rover? Because I've heard people tell me like it generates power or something, and I'm very confused by that. So I'll just have to test it out. Maybe people are just lying to me and it doesn't actually generate power. 
but I'm not certain, so we're just going to attach a solar panel just in case it's like day out we're driving it. And now I'm going to get some organic to fill this thing up. And then we're going to drive it. Ah, there's a huge boulder. Oh my gosh, these boulders are so bad on this planet. They're like, they're after me. They're after me all the time. All right. So I've heard like once it's fully charged, like you don't really need to keep it going. Oh my gosh. These controls are so much better. I immediately like this. What? Oh, it doesn't generate power. Its battery just lasts super long. Whoa, that thing has a lot of traction. Yeah, I remember the old rovers that would, like, had no traction. Like, you couldn't take them on anything. Uh, it's kind of different to drive. It's going to take some getting used to. But... Oh gosh, so this one seems to have like a ton of battery on it, like holy cow. Like, look, all that driving I just did only went through like a fourth of its battery. So, I guess since it's lighter, it doesn't really need as much power to keep going. So one thing I immediately noticed with this, um, with this small rover is that um, it actually like, it doesn't have any storage slots on it. So I guess it's good for like exploring around and whatnot, but you can't really like carry stuff on it. So it's good for like exploring, I guess. So now we're going to move on to the large rover. This is the thing that gets me really excited. And it's going to require four aluminum. And I believe I have that already. Uh oh. Aw, oh, nuts. I think I'm short on one aluminum. Alright, well, it's time to get this cart doing um, its job, I guess, for the first time. I'm going to take it to the caves and get some- Ah! Oh my gosh! I need- These new controls are going to take such a long time to get used to. Oh my goodness. I'm having troubles. I'm having a lot of technical difficulties right now. Oh my gosh, I am crashing this thing into everything. Ugh. I'm glad I'm not this bad of a driver in real life. What? Look at this. Guys, there's another bugged out tether. Oh wait, actually, I don't think it is. I think, um, earlier I made a loop. Um, yeah, there's a loop going around these trees. I made a huge loop of tethers going around because I was collecting a bunch of research off camera from the trees for this episode. And I fixed up this cave so I don't, like, forget about that and drop in and die. And oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The rover? <laughs> no! Rover! Oh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Alright, now I need to get it right side up. Okay, there it goes. This rover is going to take so much time to figure out how to drive. No? I would- I want to step into it. Okay, there it goes. Uh oh, I'm getting a little framey here. My computer, for some reason, I normally record at like 60 frames per second, and it's only recording at like 30 right now. Okay, it's going back to 60. It got a little framey there for a second, not sure why. Maybe it's the rover. Uh, the steering is kind of, um, kind of tricky on these things. So, whoa, okay, almost fell down there. Luckily I didn't. By the way, these are the caves I went exploring in. I think this must be you guys' first time seeing these, actually, besides the the, um, the time lapse I did in the previous episode. But yeah, these are the caves I went through. And I- whoa! Oh my goodness. Ugh. I am- I'm being such a mess right now. So, I just walked through that tunnel, and I almost died from, like, like those gas bag plant things, whatever you call them. But I found a research bit, and this is actually a cave down here that I explored earlier. But I don't- I really want to avoid that tunnel. I need to get this across. Oh no. Okay. I'm just gonna dig out this way. Okay, I don't know what it is. I think this might be a new bug. But as I go through the caves, like, really good research like this just, like, drops through the ceiling constantly everywhere I go. It just like showers me in research everywhere I go. It's 
pretty hilarious. Like, look! Look! Here it is again! Look! This was not here last time I was in the caves. There's just research popping in everywhere. Oh no. Maybe System Era just nerfed the difficulty of finding research or something. We don't need Malkite right now. I want to get some aluminum first. <gasps> what? Is this a... Yes! There's a thruster! Oh my gosh, I found a thruster! You know, I was actually hoping to find one of these um, for this episode. I wasn't, but then I kind of like forgot about it. So, yeah, I was originally just taking them, thinking of like taking them out in like a little test drive or like going places in these rovers, but uh, now I need to, now I'm going to try them in this thruster. I, that's going to be really cool. Okay, I think I left some stuff here. I made a mess. There is another research that just fell in through the ceiling. These, these research, this research was not here last time I was here. Look, that's three research that just dropped out of the ceiling. Three free research right there. Oh my gosh. The game is just giving me free research everywhere I go. But sadly, I'm not... There's another thruster, guys. I... This cave has been, like, the best cave so far. Besides the fact that it's not giving me any aluminum, but I'm just going to have to keep searching. But look! Look, guys! This is what I'm talking about here. Look! Research just dropping out of the ceiling again. None of this research was here last time I was down in the cave. Oh my gosh. This is insane. It's just littered everywhere. Okay, this is becoming insane. This is another research that dropped out that was not there before. Oh my gosh. It's just everywhere. This is completely insane. Now I'm hoping that I can find some aluminum, aluminum in this cavern and- There's another research, guys! It's dropping out of the ceiling everywhere I go! This is insane. Hey guys, so I was just now here, over here, and look! It's our first zebra ball! Like, well, like those rare things. That's cool. But I also found some aluminum, finally. So I just need one more bit of aluminum. The, just one. Actually, I might gather all of it, because... Why not? Because otherwise I'll have to come back here later. Alright, and... <laughs> it's just rolling around. So... Yeah, there's where I came from. And I do have the zebra ball now. And look, guys. All right. I've only been in this cave for, like, I don't even know, like, maybe, like, not even ten minutes. And I've already, like, found, like, at least five research things that just fell out of the ceiling and a zebra ball and two rocket thrusters. Seriously, guys. This has got to be, like, the best cave I've ever gone into in my life. So, we have aluminum now. So I'm going to head back to the base. Okay, so I just came back. Went to, like, a full battery on this rover, even though it was about to die whenever I got to that cave of good fortune. You know, that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it, like, the cave of fortune, because it gave me a bunch of free stuff. <laughs> Every time I go down there, I get, like, stuff just drops out of the ceiling. Like, it just rains me in thousands of bites of research. And it's just so broken and so hilarious. But... So I got some aluminum, and I'm going to smelt it, and then I am going to, um, then I'm going to use it to make that large rover, which I'm so excited to try out. Oh my gosh, I managed to run over everything physically possible with this thing. Look, I managed to, like, get it balanced. Ah, uh, driving this thing is kind of painful. I'm not used to the controls. They're, like, less sensitive now, especially the steering. The steering's a bit strange. Come on. Get off. Okay. Got the wheels touching the ground. Let's see if I- nope. Ah, ah, stop it! Ah, it got stuck again! Okay, it got stuck again. I'm giving up. I'm giving up. I'll, I'll get it later off camera. I've given up. We need to get this aluminum smelting. Oh my goodness, just- I'm done. I'm done with that small rover. I've abandoned it. Alright, got that going. Hey guys, I was just now editing this video, 
and it turns out the pre-release for update, I think 0.8 came out, which means this world is going to start getting very, very buggy throughout the video. Depending on how bad it is, I might have to start a new Astroneer world so that I don't have to play in like just such a super buggy world, and I want to try out the new features of the new update. Just letting you guys know. Okay, so, um, I just left my computer. I had a busy schedule for a while, and I don't know if this glitched out or, but something tells me that a few pesky, a particular pesky younger sibling of mine has been on my computer while I was gone. Uh, I'm just gonna fix this right now. You know what, I'm just gonna fix it later. Okay, all the platforms are broken. I think this is a bug because I am noticing that everything looks slightly different, like all the labels and whatnot. And, oh my, this, this got, this got bugged out. Yeah, something has changed. It, it's a lot different. I'm trying to pick this up. It won't let me. And I don't know if they released an update or something that might have bugged that out. Because look at this. They have like these new cool labels on everything. But I need to stay focused. So I have the aluminum now. So I'm going to make the large rover that we are intending to make a very long time ago. And boom. Got that going. And I believe we will need a seat as well. Let's see here. Okay, so it's already unlocked for some reason. That's kind of odd. And I think to make it, we need... Yeah, two compound. And then we can get this printing. And there we go. It's always really satisfying to watch all these solar panels open every morning. Like, look at that. Oh no, it just looks really cool. Now this is still taking a while for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just because I started it when there was low power, but this thing looks really big. I'm really excited to take this thing on a test drive. So my seat is ready now, and it will, this is about to finish up. And look at this thing, this is massive. Oh man, I'm so excited to try it out. So I'm just going to attach the seat. Uh, the seats are sideways. Is this how you drive? Uh, last time I checked, I didn't. I don't. I don't want to drive a car with the seat sideways. That's kind of odd. That that's not a very safe car. Oh well. Um, <laughs> that's that's strange. Um, maybe it's just a bug. So. One thing that I wanted to try out as well is, um, you know, I bet we need to get that large storage, don't we? Okay, here it is. We have some bites left over to get the large storage. And if I look at this, we want to make a large storage, which requires four compound and print. Oh, this is going to be really cool. So once I get this, um, once I get this platform going, I'm thinking of taking this thing out on a test drive, and um, I'm actually going to um, take it out and get some resources as well and some research. So during my time lapse in my previous video in this series, I set a very long tether line down there, but it's really long, so it's not really worth it. And I've already found a big cave system over there. So I'm going to take this massive, um, this massive rover and I'm going to take it down there and collect as many resources as I can bring with me. Then I'm going to drive it back, then I'm going to walk down there and then take all the tethers as I go back. You know, and I better grab some of these to mount on it. You know, actually, I just remembered. Wait, oh my gosh, we can mount these on the front too? That's an insane amount of storage! That is a ton of storage on this thing. Oh my gosh! That's completely insane! Now, I just remembered, we're going to need to take this with us to keep the battery going. And we're also going to want to take the generator just in case we run out of power. Alright, we're just going to pop it on there. And... Oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane. So I have heard that it uses up a lot of power really fast, this thing does. So... The solar panel does seem to be keeping up. 
Now, one thing I don't really like is the steering isn't, like, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of tricky to steer, you know what I mean? It takes it longer to turn. I don't know. But I do like that there's a lot more traction. It's really nice. Oh my gosh, the rocks are so bad. But otherwise, I love this vehicle a lot. That's, this is really awesome. Oh my gosh, this thing is eating through its battery really quickly. Oh dear. Oh dear. And we're out of power. Luckily, I can just turn this on. And now we're gonna get going. So it's just a little ways away, and I actually, I don't know if I went through that wreck yet. So I bet there's some really good stuff in there. There's a- is this a- oh man, there's research. These- these research pods I know are worth a lot, so we're definitely going to take those. Alright, I just got in, and I actually have to be very careful because there was, um, a cave underneath this that I breached into, so... And for some reason I can't click on it. Oh, it's because that was in the way. Oh man, there's lithium, guys! That'll be nice. The seat isn't really useful right now, we'll get it later. But... There is lithium, which is super nice, because that'll actually come in handy pretty soon. Because I'm thinking in the near future I might be making some batteries. So my main priorities during this, um, while we're driving this around, is to collect a bunch of research. And um, that's just because next episode I'm thinking of starting some construction on my base. And I'm going to need like all like the different mods for the, um for the terrain tool, so I will be, um, I'm going to be getting the mods for it, and that's going to require a lot of research, they're pretty expensive, but, um, I'm also going to need research for, um, some other platforms I'm going to, and other, like, um, different, like, the stations for my base in the future. This is such, like, this is a really cool forest area. This looks really pretty. Oh, get back. My solar panel has still not opened yet. It's gonna be a little problematic. I think it might be, there might be like something in the way. There's probably something in the way. Well, wait. It just recharged itself, but I didn't have the generator going. That's very weird. Looks like I'm driving backwards, apparently. I didn't- I wasn't able to turn this around, so... Yeah, we're going in backwards. Oh no. Ah, there's stuff in the way. Oh no, oh no, this is not going as planned. Okay, uh... I believe we could just use E and flip this. Yep, there we go. Nice. Alright, so... I need to find where the research is. I know earlier I got some research from down here. So, where is it? Okay, so it's down here and for some reason it just stopped. Oh, there's stuff in the way there. There's always stuff in the way. Ah, there's like a thing right where I'm trying to go. Okay, I just fixed that. Now, by the way, um, one issue that I feel like the devs should fix is that, like, all these rocks and, like, all these obstructions keep respawning in caves, which makes it almost impossible to take vehicles anywhere. What? Whoa, what are these tethers doing? What? Oh, goodness. I think an update might have killed the tethers. Yeah, they don't- they don't look too pretty. Yeah, it must be an update that bugged out everything. Oh wow, I left a lot more research than I thought originally down here. Look at that! Wait, what? I thought I saw something come around. This- did this just drop down from the ceiling? What? Okay, there are power cells here. We're gonna take those with us. What on earth is going- What on earth is going on here, guys? Do you guys see that? Look, I can see through the ground to research. What? This is so broken. Oh my gosh, I need to... Hang on. This is really cheaty, but... 
<gasps> I could grab it? I just... I grabbed it from another ca- What? Hang on, can I grab these? Can I grab these from, like, another cave? Well, it's time to find out, ladies and gentlemen. This is so buggy and strange. Oh, wait, did it fix itself? Nope. I can't grab this for some reason. I'm a, I'm kind of afraid to walk across. I feel like it's gonna like bug out or something or I might die. So yeah, that is so strange and so broken. Oh my goodness, like I just grabbed that. I just plucked that research out of another cave. This is so weird to look at. So hang on, um, so the rover is going to go down. It's gonna go into that cave. I think it actually goes down to where that research is right now. Oh, and I think that's a thruster right there. What? Oh my gosh, there's another thruster that- This is the most- There's more research! Oh my gosh, this is the most broken thing ever. Oh my goodness. This is so cheaty. You know, I bet the update did this to the world, you know? Yeah, I feel like it might have been the update that changed some things. Like, these are, like, all stuck in the ground and stuff. You know, um, if this actually continues on, if this keeps on breaking the world more, I might actually have to end the season early. Because, you know, um, as I said earlier, you know, I'm going to keep the season going until basically the world becomes so broken that I can't even play in it anymore. But, I'm just gonna attach those. And I need to refill my oxygen. So, we now have a bunch of research, but I'm out of storage slots for it, sadly. Oh, wait a second. One of them's being used up by this generator, so we can just... Uh, where can I put it? Will it power it through here? I wonder if it'll power up the rover through there. So, um, one thing I also, um... I just wanted to check out. Like, I just want to see if I can actually, like, oh, I really want to get to those, um, to those research down there, to those, to those bits of research. Oh my goodness, this is the most broken thing ever. This bug is becoming weirder by the minute. You know, I wonder what happens if I actually set off this dynamite in a bugged area. Okay, things just- it just made a big crater, but that's like- what? What on earth is this doing? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in Astroneer. Okay, these things are floating. My world is- look at this. Okay, this is definitely a bugged out world now. It must have gotten bugged out while I was gone from my computer. Hey, I just found some coal here. Although it will be useful right now, later on in the future I might be getting a trade platform, so this will be valuable for that. Okay, I just came to the end of this cave, and I just found a poor little astro here. Poor guy. So... Oh, this guy's so poor, let's loot him. So, isn't that like the mentality of every gamer? Um, <laughs> what am I doing? So, I'm not quite sure what power cells do. Don't those just like, they're like kind of like one-time use things that just provide power? I'm not certain. I'll have to test them out later. But yeah, I ha- So, I have an oxygen tank now, which is going to definitely come in handy. Okay, this is still bothering me. Like, how the oxygen tanks are oriented. I wish, like, they'd, like, be, like, rotated 90 degrees. So, like, that they'd show their side, like, how it is right now, here. When it was on top, so that I could see it. But, it's not that way. So, I just have to put it on top like that. And, um, I think I left something down here, right? I think I left power cells. Yeah, I did. Goodbye, Mr. Astroneer. Rest in peace. Let's- alright, so I'm thinking of going back to the base now. So I'm going to hop in here. And let's get the blazes out of here. Alright, I'm back with my research. 
and um, I actually have a, um, I've actually written out a list. I have one with me right now of everything that I'm going to need for my next episode. And real quick, I'm just going to park this. So I have a list with me of everything that I will need for my next episode. And one of them, um, I'm going to be needing basically all the mods of on the terrain tool and a mineral extractor. And once I have all of that, um, that's pretty much everything I'm going to need for my next episode, which is where I'll be outlining the, um, the details for my base. So, I know that these tend to be worth more, so I'm going to do this one first. Yeah, 7,000 bytes. So, one thing I'm really excited to try out in the future is this thing right here, the thruster. Like, that's going to be something really cool to use in a future video. Maybe, like, just, like, launching cars around. I know, um, there is, um, there are some... Um, people online who have like launched these cars into space and whatnot, which I'm just super hyped to try out. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Astroneer. I'm afraid this is where I'm going to have to end the episode, but don't forget to stick around for part three where I'm going to be expanding my base. I'm super excited to start trying that out. And also, I was going to talk about this in the video, and I was a complete doofus and forgot. But, in case you live under a rock, Astroneer recently announced that it was going to be appearing at the E3 convention, and they released this super cool trailer about um, an update that's going to be coming out, and it got everybody pumped, and then they said, oh hey, it's coming out in December. But, um, yeah, I will be linking it in the end card in case you haven't seen it yet, because if you're watching this and you're big in the Astroneer community, you should totally see it. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later!